Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today we're going to be building another steam locomotive here and we're going to be building Union Pacific 844. And this is a 484 and this is still used on Union Pacific steam excursion trains along with the big boy. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build. So we're going to start off on the front end and we're going to take out deep slate tile blocks and put three of them across the bottom middle. On top of it, a forward facing deep slate tile stair in the center and then wrap around the corner and do an outward facing stair on either side. Then on the front of this, get a dark oak stair stock stacked up on the middle second block for the coupler. Under that, put a dark oak fence gate. Then we're going to come on the top of the back and go five wide with black stone brick walls up here. Then behind that, three black stone brick slabs on the middle on the upper hip box. Then we're going to come on the next block back behind the slabs on bottom, and we'll put a netherite wheel on each rail here with an in rod axle. Behind that on the upper hip box, two rows of three deep slate brick slabs, then another set of netherite wheels and an in rod axle. Then go through and put a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels. Then two fence gates on the side middle on each side. Then on the top middle of this truck, a two by two of netherite, then two black stone brick walls here in a column, and two here. On the outer edge right here, do a two by two of black concrete for the piston, and a two by two of black concrete here. On the bottom of each piston on the front, put an item frame with a smooth stone block like this. Then we're gonna come behind these back wheels, and we need to be in the center, and we need to be on the second block up above the rails in the middle, kitty corner like this. And we're going to turn this into a line of netherite coming down the middle, and that's going to be 17 blocks long in total. So 17 blocks on this second layer. Then come on the side of the back of this, do three deep slate brick blocks, skip one and three, skip one and three, skip one and three, so there's four of them. Then come through on top and put a deep slate brick on the top middle of each side, and then on the bottom middle of each one so that there are four plus shapes. Then we're gonna come over here for the driving wheels on this side and still using deep slate brick blocks, just copy these directly across so you have four on this side and put a block on the top middle of each side and on the bottom middle of each one so that you have four plus shapes on this side. Then take deep slate brick stairs and we're going to put forward facing upside down stairs in all eight of these corners to round it off. Then turn this way for backward facing upside down stairs in all eight of these corners. Then we'll do the tops of the wheels. So we'll come back through up here with right side up stairs and fill in all the corners. Then turn around this way and fill in all these corners so that all eight of our driving wheels are all the way rounded off like this. Now come on the top of each back wheel and put two nether brick fences here, two here. Then between the wheels right here, two black stone brick walls, then two here, and two between here. Then we'll come across the top, two on this side, same thing here, and here. Then between these second wheels, three netherite in the middle, right here. Then we'll come up here and in the middle up here we're going to do a line of deep slate brick slabs to the front of this netherite like that. Now come to the back on the bottom middle and we're going to do this t-shape of black stone brick walls like this. Then a set of netherite wheels and an in rod axle. The three black stone brick walls, another set of netherite wheels and an in rod axle, and then a T-shape of walls like this. Behind this in the middle, we're gonna put three sideways dark oak fence gates coming up the center. Then we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on all four wheels. Then take out netherite on this top middle, start up here and do a line down the middle. We're gonna stop right before the last fence gate and then put a dark oak slab on top of the last fence gate there. Now we'll do all the driving rods and valve gear. So we're gonna come up off this piston 
on the back of it and we're gonna do five smooth stone slabs coming back right here then behind this a double slab then we're gonna move one hitbox down and do a row coming all the way across till you're touching the front of this back wheel then put a skeleton skull here 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 and here then we're gonna repeat that on the other side so come up off this piston five smooth stone slabs here then a double slab move down a hitbox and come all the way across till you're touching the front of the back wheel then put a skeleton skull here 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 and here then up behind the piston up here put three birch fences on either side then a birch fence gate on either side and finally close a birch trap door going this way on either side like this and now the driving rods are done now we're going to come on top of the front where these three slabs are and above the slabs we're going to put a chiseled polished black stone on the center slab black stone brick block on either side and then a ladder on the front of each side. Then on top, a black stone brick stair on top of each side here. Then a dark oak trap door in the middle. Then we're gonna put a forward facing black stone brick stair on the same level as this ladder on the side here, facing forward like this. And then one on this side. Then where this gap is here, we need to get another stair up here like this facing forward and then same thing right here then underneath that stair we'll put a wither skeleton skull on the front top of the piston on each side here so it looks like that now come right behind this on this top middle and we're going to do a line of five stone brick blocks down the middle then five upside down stone brick stairs here facing outward and five on this side facing outward. Then above this, we'll come down each side and across the front with stone brick block, and then another layer, and then fill in this top middle with stone brick. On top of this on the front, we're gonna do two stone brick blocks on the middle, then two soul campfires and a stone brick block, then five stone brick stairs here, and five here. Then get two stone brick blocks above the two campfires. On the back of this, we're going to open a birch fence gate here, and then a smooth stone slab on the front middle. Then we're going to come down on the front, and we're going to crouch and put a dark oak sign on this trap door. And we're going to type 844. And then we're going to hit that with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're going to come stand up on this top corner this way, and we need to get up on the edge of this and crouch. And on this middle, we're gonna put two grindstones in a column. Then come up here and crouch and get two glow item frames on each grindstone. On the top one, put a redstone block, and on the bottom one, a frog light. Then on the top middle, put a bell. Then we're gonna type in a command. So make sure you have a clear spot on your hotbar. Then we're going to come in our command menu and we're going to type slash give space at sign s space the word structure underscore and the word void. Then enter the command and that'll give you the structure void. And we're going to put one on each side like this. And we're going to use that structure void to mount a diagonally placed dark oak sign on the side of the bell. And we're going to type x844. Then we'll do one on this side. And that same thing, we're gonna use the structure void that's invisible to mount a diagonally placed sign with X844. Then we're gonna hit the sign with white dye and a glowing sack. And same thing on this side. Finally, take out a creeper head and we'll put one on either side of the top like this. Now we're gonna come down on the back and down on this back corner on the back two netherite blocks we're going to put two sideways grindstones here and two on this side then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a lightning rod here and here 
Then skip one block forward from the grindstones, and on the upper hitbox of each side, three stone brick slabs. Then three stone brick blocks above the slabs on either side. Then we're going to add a block on either side of the back up here. And we're also going to add a block on either side of the front up here. Then an upside down stone brick stair on the front of each side. Then we're going to start at the back of this netherite and do a line of netherite up the middle here until you're aligned with these fences. Then we're going to come on top of the back and we're going to go three wide on the top middle and come five blocks forward with netherite. Just like that. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to put a double black stone brick slab here, then two down here, two black stone buttons in front of it. Then up here, two black stone brick slabs on the upper hitbox. Then we'll repeat it here. So on the front of this, we'll do two black stone buttons, two black stone brick slabs on the bottom, then behind that, a double black stone brick slab, and then move up to the upper hitbox in two slabs here. Then on the side of the netherite up here, we're going to put five black concrete. Then we'll come on this side and put five black concrete over here as well. Then we're going to come underneath this bottom corner and we need to get three dark oak fence gates sideways underneath here like this and sticking out one. And same thing here, we're going to put three dark oak fence gates up here just like that. Then we'll come up on top. And on top of each side, add another five black concrete on either side. Then a single black concrete on the back of each side, and an inward facing black stone brick stair on the front of each side. Then two glass panes here, two here. On top of this, we'll do five outward facing black stone brick stairs. And then five outward facing stairs on this side. Then we'll do five backwards facing upside down stairs across the top back. Then up here, three black concrete then two on either side, and two rows of three behind it. Fill this hole with two iron trap doors. Then we're gonna come down here in front of the cab on this bottom middle and do a line of black concrete all the way up to the smoke box on the front. Then right here, add three black concrete on either side of the bottom. And then across here, a full row of upside down black stone brick stairs facing outward to the front. And then a full row of upside down black stone brick stairs on this side. Then we're gonna come on the side, right in front of the cab. And we're gonna come too high with black concrete. I know it's kind of hard to see. And we're gonna bring that all the way forward up the side to the very front here. And then of course, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and come too high with black concrete and we'll fill in this whole side, coming back till we're just in front of the cab back here. Then we'll do a single line of black concrete, starting at the front, coming down the top middle. I know it's really hard to see. Then in front of the cab up here, on these top corners, we're gonna add four black concrete on side of the top right in front of the cab. And then we'll do this side, four black concrete up here in this corner. And we'll cover that with a three by four of black stone brick slabs. And actually, I'm not liking how that looks. So I'm gonna take off the outer slabs on the front of each side and on the back so the slabs are more rounded off. Then we'll come right in front of this and do a full row of outward facing black stone brick stairs to the front. And a full row of outward facing black stone brick stairs on top of this side coming to the front. So we should be looking like this now. Now come up here on this third stair back. We're actually going to knock out five of them and put in five black concrete. And same thing here. Knock out these five stairs and put in black concrete. Then cover the top of this in a 3x5 of black stone brick slabs. Then up in front of this, on either side, we're going to put two sideways chains here, two here, 
and then one going this way right here. Then come behind these slabs, leave two empty blocks of space, and we're gonna knock out this third stair on either side and temporarily put in a concrete. And we're gonna put four yellow candles on top of each side and then change these outer black concretes back to stairs. In between the candles, put a dark oak trap door. Then behind that in the middle, we're gonna put a single flower pot. Then we're gonna skip a block back and put a black stone brick slab. And behind the slab, we're gonna put a forward facing dragon head going into the slab like this. Now we're gonna come down here, behind this stair on this layer. And right behind where this stair is, we're gonna put three sideways dark oak vent skates. Then behind that, we're gonna do a single polished deep slate wall. Then two right side up polished deep slate stairs. Then a polished deep slate wall. Behind the wall, we're gonna add in another three dark oak vent skates. Then behind that, we're gonna do four right side up polished deep slate stairs in a row. So four right here. Then we're gonna come down to this back corner, two polished deep slate walls here, then a row of fence gates across this gap. And then we need to repeat the whole process on the other side. So we'll come down behind this stair, three dark oak fence gates, polished deep slate wall, two polished deep slate stairs, and a wall. Then three fence gates, then four polished deep slate stairs. Then come back in this corner, two polished deep slate walls here, and a row of fence gates across this. Then we're gonna take out a temporary block on the side of the smoke box, and right here we're gonna do a five by three of temporary blocks coming up. Then up on the front, we're gonna put three that's moved one block down like this. And we're gonna use those temporary blocks to mount dark oak trap doors on every single one and close all the trap doors. Just like this. And now that the smoke deflector's on, we can come through and delete all these temporary blocks out. Then we have to repeat it on the other side. So take your temporary block again on the side of this stone brick, do a five by three of temporary blocks. On the front, move one block down and do three here. And then same thing, we're gonna put a dark oak trap door on every single one of these temporary blocks. And then we're gonna close all of the trap doors to make the smoke deflector. And then once that's on, same thing, come back through and delete out all of the temporary blocks. Then we're gonna come back here in this corner and right above this, we're gonna do a full row of iron trap doors coming right to the front. Then we'll have to come in between here and crouch and get it coming right up between the smoke deflector to it's behind the stair. Same thing here, crouch. Get some coming across here. And then bring it all the way down to the back in front of the cab. Then we're gonna take out a dark oak fence gate and we're gonna come up in between here and put one here and one here for the mounting bars. And same thing, one here, one here on this side. Then we'll come back in front of the cab, and on this top layer, we're gonna do a full row of sideways lightning rods coming up here. Until you get right here. And then we'll add the same thing on this side, on this top layer up here. A full row of sideways lightning rods up here. Until you get up to the front, right here. Then we'll grab a dark oak trap door again. And we're gonna come on top of the cab roof and just start right here and come around the iron trap doors and fill the middle of this cab roof 
with dark oak trapdoors. Now we're going to come down to the back behind this. And on the bottom middle down here, we're going to add one more dark oak bench gate going sideways. Behind that, we're going to do a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then two rows of three, black stone brick walls in the center. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we'll crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And same thing on this side here. Then we're going to come behind this, leave a gap of space and skip one block back and do three black stone brick walls in the middle. Then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Three more walls. Then a second set of wheels and an axle. Three more walls. Then a third set of wheels and an axle. Three more walls. A fourth set of wheels and an axle. Three more walls. And then a fifth set of wheels and an axle. And finally three more walls. Then go through and put a wither skeleton skull on all ten of these wheels. Then we'll come in between all the wheels and put a dark oak vent scape between all the wheels on both sides. Then we'll take out netherite and we're going to come up on the top middle behind this slab and do a line of netherite down the center and we're going to stick out one block past the back walls. Then on this top back block get a dark oak stair up here for the coupler and under that we're going to put two vent skates. Then we actually need to do the cab so come inside here. We're going to put a black stone brick block on the bottom of each side and on the top middle up here. Then an outward facing black stone brick stair on either side of it. Then we'll knock out this middle bottom block, put another brick and light it on fire. Close the trap door over it. Then we'll put a lever here and one up on the roof on the very front up here. Then we'll put two item frames with compasses. Turn around and put a stair here and here for seats. Then come out here and behind each stair put two black stone walls. Then two iron bars here and here. And then three trap doors here. Then come to the back of this, put two black stone brick slabs here and one underneath the outer edge. Do the same thing on this side on the back, so two slabs and another slab on the bottom of the outside. Then put a fence gate here and a fence gate here. In front of this on the upper hip box, do a full line of black stone brick slabs to the front of the netherite. And then same thing on this side, one full row of black stone brick slabs starting here and coming all the way across this upper hip box. Now come up front right here with black concrete and two rows of three black concrete on the front middle. Then three fence gates here, three on this side. Then behind it on the bottom, we're gonna go five wide with black concrete so it sticks out to the side by one on either side. Then we'll add another five black concrete on this outer edge and five on this outer edge. Behind this, we're gonna do a row of upside down outward facing black stone brick stairs coming back. And then we're gonna stop one block before the end, three black concrete here, and then same thing on this side, a row of upside down, outward facing, black stone brick stairs right here. Then we're going to come up front on the outer edge behind where the three dark oak fence gates are. And right here, we're going to come three high with black concrete. And we're going to bring that all the way down the side of this tender, another three blocks tall. Just keep it coming till you get to this corner. Then right here, we'll come three high across the back. And then we'll come back up this side, three blocks tall with black concrete. And we'll bring it right up to the front, right behind these fence gates right here. Now we'll come up inside here and put two black shulker boxes on this side two on this side, then in between the shulker boxes, crouch and get two chiseled polished black stone block. Then a black stone brick stair on the center here. Then we're gonna come up here on this top outer edge 
with our polished black stone brick stairs. And we're gonna start on this front corner up here, and we're gonna do a row of nine outward facing stairs coming back. Then come around the corner, three backward facing stairs here, then around this corner and back up to the front. Finally up here, put three forward facing stairs in the middle. Then we'll fill in this whole area in between the stairs, three wide with black concrete up here. And we'll also come to this lower back section behind the stairs and fill this all in, three wide with black concrete as well. Now come on the top middle behind these stairs and we're gonna make a three by three square of black stone brick slabs in the middle and a daylight sensor in the center. Then a daylight sensor in the center here and come around it. Then a third daylight sensor and come around it with black stone brick slabs. Then right here, we're gonna open a dark oak fence gate and on the side here, do a column of four fence gates. Copy it on this side back here. So on this back corner, we need a column of four fence gates and then open a fence gate here. Then come up on this section and put two daylight sensors right here and two here. Now come to the back on the top middle, put a glow item frame with a frog light and a wither skeleton skull on each top corner. Under this light, put a dark oak sign with 844. Hit it with white dye and then a glowing sack. Then across here, put five dark oak trap doors. Then we're gonna come up on the side, on the fourth block in from the back of this tender, and then one block down from the top. We're gonna knock out three of the black concrete, skip one and knock out four. Then we're gonna fill those holes with smooth quartz blocks, like this. Then we'll come over to the other side. Same thing on this side, we're gonna come here. This time we're gonna knock out four right here. Skip one forward and knock out three and fill them with smooth cords. Then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom with a black banner and white dye. We're gonna put a vertical on each side, then a horizontal on the middle, the top, and the bottom. Then new banner. We're gonna put a vertical on each side again, then make the bottom half black. Then go back to white dye and put a vertical on the right. Then a horizontal in the middle. Then go to black dye and put a black border around both of these. And then we're gonna come up on the side under the cab windows and use the banners to put 844. And then we'll do the same thing on this side under the window, use the banners to put 844. So it looks like that. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed Union Pacific 844, our 484 steam locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.